Welcome builders and is your here. Welcome back to the channel that's inspiring people to get building in Minecraft. Welcome to the 5x5 five five series. This is the series where we take a little 5x5 five five house, it looks a bit like that, and we turn it into things. So we've turned a 5x5 five five house into this little gatehouse recently. Also this mayor's house, which is looking kind of cool. I think so anyway, a little fireplace and so on. Today we're going to be building a barn, which looks a bit like this. And this is how we're going to be doing it. So we've got... Um, some ingredients here, and the ingredients we're going to choose to start off with are Ocus Wood is Plankus, Oak is Wood. We're going to have some cobblestone, some oak fences, and some slabs. Let's get going with the um, the building. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, five. Two, nine, four, three. Nine, ten, two. Good. I'm glad I can count easily to make a nice five by five square. Boom, 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 boom. And then fours come up. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. And we'll put on some Ocus Woodis. Oops. Ocus Woodis Plankus right here. Boom, 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 boom. And we'll put on a little oak wood slab floor as well. That lets some light through. You can put some glowstone underneath if you want light to easily come up into your builds. And on this house, I'm actually not going to put in any glass windows. So it's a standard 5x5 five five house, but no glass windows. I'm going to put in oak fences. And I'm not going to put a door just yet. I'm going to decide where the doors go later on. Okay, we're going to add this round here like this. Boom, boom. This would be a great thing to put in your own Minecraft village. A mayor's house, a gate, some walls, and then maybe a farm. A big barn as well would be a nice part of that farm. Boom, boom, boom. Some slabs up here. It's an improvement over the Mojang version, which was full blocks. Gives you a bit of extra headroom on the inside. Okay, once you've done that, you need to place a few more of these dotted about. I've got a quick way of doing it, just to speed it up for the video. A little gap of three in between your hoosies, and then we're going to put one there as well. But this one isn't much of a house. It's just a frame, so you can actually take out all these bits as well. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 like that. And then we're going to count for 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we're going to put another house right there. Another gap of 3. 1, 2, 3, boom. And another house there. And the same again on top to make the little frame. So we're going to take out all the innards as well. How are you guys doing? I know you guys are all doing a lot of these builds. You're following along, getting inspired, and building your own little Minecraft Mojang style village creations. Isn't it cool? I love doing this. Um, boom, 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 boom. You've inspired, and I know you're inspired because you've been sending me pictures on Instagram and you've been sending me pictures on Twitter as well. It's all at Andy Zoda. So very much appreciated when people do that. We're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three to kind of make a little middle section there as well. We're going to go and grab our favorite block, Trapidorus Maximus. I'm going to put Trapidorus Maximus along here. Whoa, got to fly, got to fly and crouch at the same time to place all these blocks. So we're going to go boom, 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 up with me, so it's three high, and then Rapidorus Maximus. And there we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we are. Ha! <laughs> looking all right, actually. Looking all right. Um, the path can just be extended all the way through. I'm going to use a smidgen of world edit for that, but extend the path all the way through. And then here, I'm going to replace this grass with pods also. Slash slash replace two with three two. I'm using a little bit of world edit to speed it up for the video, but you can do that on your own, I'm sure. Make some little animal pens in here. Don't want your, uh, like this. Dun, dun. Boom, 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 boom. Little animal pens. One's going to be bigger than the other. And of course, you're going to need some gates as well. I like to choose gates which are different colors to the fences. So they kind of stand out like that, you see. There we go, little animal pens. 
and we are getting there. Now it's time for the roof, but before we do the roof, we're gonna put on, <laughs> now it's time for the roof, but before we do the roof, we're gonna put some doors. So little doors are gonna go in here. So it's one, two, three, place. Okay, little steps into little kind of rooms at the end, rooms where you'd store stuff which you don't want to be stolen or whatever. I don't know. There we go. So that's cool. Um, yeah, that's looking decent. It's looking decent. Uh, let me grab something else. Let's grab some spruce wood stairs and spruce wood planks. And these blocks are going to be used to build our roof. So that this block here needs to be carefully placed. It's a full block of spruce and it goes right exactly there. Once you get that block in place, the rest of this shouldn't be too difficult. We've got an upside down stair there. And then on top, we've got one, two, three, like that, to make a little kind of staircase like that. And then two spruce woods up the way, like that. Then it's back to two staircases, one and two. And then we're gonna go for another spruce wood on top, and then two more stairs, one, oops, stairs I said, stairs, one and two, like that. So we should have that shape so far. And then I'm actually going to, um, I'm actually gonna take this one um, boom, boom. Yeah, I'm gonna add one more stair on top of that like that. There we go. And then another uh, full block is gonna go there. And then we're gonna get some slabs. We need some spruce wood slabs. And these are gonna go one, two, three, four. And that should get us right to the middle. So what I'm actually gonna do for you is just Replace these blocks with grass so you can actually see exactly where I've got full blocks. If I just hold the camera there, you should be able to just pause right there and copy that roof exactly. What I'm gonna do is pause and repeat that on the other side. Okay, there we go, it's all joined up, looking pretty splendid. I've actually added a second row, just exactly the same. Just gonna finish that off there with that block there. So that's obviously gonna get extended along the whole way. Just before we do that though, um, you can see my second row doesn't have upside down spruce wood stairs in the inside. That's because we're going to seal the deal like this. This is going to look kind of cool from the front. It's going to be the main structure of the barn. Um, here and here, I take off these slabs as well and just do that kind of effort. And one, two, three, four, seal, seal, seal. There we are. Cool, that's looking pretty smart. Uh, up here, I'm actually going to leave a little gap here, which is gonna have some Okaswoodis fences in it, and that's just gonna create a little bit of detail at the top. I want to have a little kind of hayloft here, um, or attic, hayloft, yeah, hayloft, somewhere where you'd store your hay. So we're gonna bring out um, is it three or four, I think maybe four, of these like that. And what I want to do is put some hay as if it was being wound up like this on a kind of a little pulley system like that. We could put the hay right there as if you would drive your little wagon up here and you could load the hay up somehow into there. Um, it does seem to be quite far away, but I guess you would hook it and just, and just bring it on. Anyway, uh, that is that done like that. And what we want to do is exactly the same on the other side over there. Be right back when that is done. There we go, that is exactly the same on the other side. So hopefully once that has been done, we can add a little bit more detail to the side here. We're gonna seal the deal here, like that. That's looking all right. And same over here. Like that. And here we're gonna put some kind of cross beams to give the, the, the barn a little bit of structure. This is where you've got a lot of creativity. You don't have to do this, but I quite like it. I think it looks pretty smart with these kind of beams going all the way across like that. And for extra details, extra points, we're actually gonna bring these out as well by a couple, as if the house or the barn had been made and constructed in kind of this old fashioned way with exposed beams, which looks really, really cool. Because obviously this one is gonna come all the way along, you see, like that like that. This one's gonna be the upside down one, oh, like that. Boom, boom, 
all the way along and you just keep on building your roof exactly uh, as it is dictated really by whatever's there you just extend it along and in fact it's got to get all the way along to there same on the other side you're just extending all these along simple as that so i'm going to get on and do that i'll just pause the video right here and i will extend my roof join it up on both sides and um, just before i do that there is kind of an option that you could do let's grab some hay bales and melons and some ochus wood slabus you could actually create a little bit more uh kind of shelf space or storage space up here maybe just do it on one side like that and then the hay bales should kind of be stacked up here in my opinion hopefully you get inspired by this build and hopefully you can kind of just come up with your own version of a barn as well that would be the best thing to do um but it's by all means it's great to copy and follow this block by block as well but one day you know gotta be on your own do it on your own that's what my channel is all about inspiring you to keep on building and uh inventing stuff and coming up with some some pretty cool ideas it reminds me of when i was a kid playing on farms it really does building this uh, messing about in the hay with all the rats and <laughs> things crawling about let's have melons on this side because obviously people like to keep their melons private you don't want anyone getting their hands uh, on your melons uh, especially these days and let's put on a little melon there as if it was a melon storage yeah don't judge okay okay i'm going to continue doing me roof like that all the way wrong all the way around all the way wrong, all the way right, hopefully, but all the way along. Be right back. There we go. We are virtually done with the farm. All I did was extend the roof all the way along. I like how it looks mojangy. It looks villagey. It is really simple. You could add a lot of detail to this, and you'll see in a minute. Oh, I didn't do this bit. Mm -hmm. I didn't do this bit. I forgot. Um, let me use some world edit here. So slash slash stack. 20 it should do it there we go boom cheating uh not really last little detail a little smidgen of detail we're gonna count a one two three along we're gonna go one two three along like that what i'm gonna do is just create a little space like this for next to kind of a vent on top of the build it's gonna be um too high i think gonna be three blocks high like that yeah that looks fine and can we grab some hmm i think i would like to grab a different color of let's go for spruce wood fences up in here this is really easy this stage it's just simply boom boom like that so it's one two three at the ends and at the sides it's just one two with a spruce wood slab underneath no hmm i thought i put a spruce wood slab let's just do that in, in that case then and that there we are and a little roof on top so it's a simple little kind of hat shaped roof like that you could put this in the middle of the barn as well if you didn't like it at one of the ends it would look splendid right in the middle of the barn as well and there we go our barn is complete when i say complete obviously i you know need to put on a couple more blocks just to make it block perfect like that and then we can put spruce and spruce like that and then same on the other side and it's going to look kind of cool hopefully there and there one thing i didn't add in yet was some sort of ladder i didn't want to get rid of that here's my tall ferns uh me ladder right a ladder can go pretty much anywhere you like you need some way of getting up to see your melons obviously say hi to them every now and again um inspect your melons it's good for your health and i tell you what um uh, it could be a ladder on the inside of the build like that or you could put a ladder where else could we put a ladder maybe hmm, there there would be quite good i think a ladder here would be quite good to get you up to the level above right have a look at the build and have a look how much better it looks when you just add a little bit of foliage around the sides so i'm gonna make some tall grass some farge learns maybe a couple of lilacs here and there and it just seems to come to life and you just add a couple of bushes as if it's been there for ages look at that 
just a couple of bits of greenery. And our barn is looking kind of epic. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. I hope you're inspired to build and base your village on a little 5x5 five five Minecraft house. If you are, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't ready for more Minecraft 5x5 five five builds. What should we build next in our little town that we're creating here? And I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao, and the blocks be with you.